Trying to tie this series up at one and one. Here is Worthy. So the Bulls now lead at 62 53, 725 remaining in the third quarter. The Bulls have hit their last four field goal attempts, six of eight here in the third. Jordan with the step and the bucket. Again, Chicago by 11. The matchup remains. Pippen going up against Magic Johnson and Worthy catching fire now has 16. The Bulls 64. The Lakers 55. Jordan and Paxson in the backcourt. Cartwright with Pippen and Grant. Bill Jackson back to his starting lineup. Scott able to pick it off. Pippen tried to go the bounce pass route. Jordan guarding Worthy and then tries to help out. Now being matched with Magic. Shot clock at eight. Magic Johnson and again complains he felt he was fouled. That's at least three, four times that Magic's turned to the official in the last six or seven minutes of play. Michael Jordan gives the balls an 11 point advantage. Jordan with 16. He has hit his last seven shots. Johnson posting. Spins Pippen and now call for the foul. That's the second assessed to Scotty Pippen. As Magic has been making his moves to the basket, he's looking for contact, trying to get to the free throw line. There he feels that he was already up in the air before Grant came underneath. Turns to the official and says, can't believe this. And that last foul on Pippen, a non-shooting affair. Here's Magic. Worthy. Yes. 18 for James Worthy. The Bulls 66. And the Lakers 57. Five and a half left. And the third. Jordan off the double third. Paxson. John Paxson has hit six of six from the field. Because Magic is so emotionally charged up right now, he was heading to the glass to try and secure that rebound. Left Paxson alone on the spot. Up. Worthy felt he was tripped up. And the holding foul given by Johnson. And the Lakers incensed about the fact that they're not getting the calls. And Mike Mathis said that there was a first foul taking place that time by Byron Scott rather than Magic taking the other one. And they've changed the call. It is Scott collecting his third. Lakers with their third team foul. Bulls have two. Chicago leading by 11. This represents their biggest lead of the night. Jordan over Scott. Yes. Michael Jordan on fire. 18 points. He's hit his last eight. Magic Johnson. Oh, he hit the deck hard. And this time threw the foul. Magic was going to make sure that he went hard enough and strong enough that time not to leave any doubt in the official's mind. On the reverse dribble, he finds the seam down the lane, going to the basket. Jordan trying to rotate over was there and then knew it was late, so tried to move out of the way. The result, the contact, the foul. And that number four on Michael Jordan. Let's see how Phil Jackson plays it here. Has a 13-point lead. Jordan has hit his last eight shots. Magic to the foul line. He's three for three from the line. He has seven points. He has shot only two for ten. Yes, but only eight points from the free throw line for the Lakers so far in this game compared to last game where they picked up 28. Scott Williams, the rookie out of North Carolina, has come on for the first time. Cliff Levingston is back. So Levingston, Williams, and Pippen up front. Jordan and Paxson in the backcourt. Here's Jordan. Yes. And it counts. We talk about the last three or four minutes of a game. The ball goes in Michael Jordan's hands. Well, so far this half, Phil Jackson has put it in his hands the entire third quarter. 
Scottie Pippen saying to Michael, keep it going. Got us on a roll. Is that what he said? Exactly. Word for word. Byron Scott called for the foul as fourth. Michael Jordan completing the three-point play. He's hit his last nine, and the Bulls have opened up a 14-point lead. Jordan playing with four personal fouls. Bulls go to the trap. Shot clock at seven. Perkins putting the move on Williams, and he was hit. Blocked by Scott Williams. Because all the Chicago Bulls are anticipating that the offensive man is going to be turned back to the baseline. The next guy starts on the rotation early, and what happens is you pull up your dribble knowing that a Jordan or one of the other guys is going to come for the steal or double team. Changing the game plan defensively, force him to the baseline rather than the middle. Sam Perkins to the line for the first time. Horace Grant will make his return. Scott Williams, another Tar Heel product from Dean Smith, signed as a free agent, the only rookie on the Bulls roster, has been receiving quality playing time during the playoffs from Phil Jackson. He has passed by Stacey King in the rotation. Scott sits down, and Jordan now will sit down. So Michael Jordan, in his last nine field goal attempts, he has taken over the third quarter. But he has the four personal fouls. The Bulls now lead at 73-61. And the Bulls go with the backcourt of Pexon and Pippen. Livingston up front with Williams and Grant. Four minutes remaining in the third. Pippen off the weed. Played well by Johnson. Paxson open. Yes! He has hit seven of seven. One of the problems when you start switching on defense, you forget who you're guarding. You can't leave a Paxson alone. And suddenly the Chicago pressure providing problems for the Lakers. And here they come off the steal. They have the numbers. Devots remaining in the backcourt. Williams hits. The Bulls lead by 16 points. Devots hit on the reach in, and Devots and Williams have some words. The style of play by the Lakers, where they pick you apart, slice you apart, run the clock down. Now we get a look at them playing from behind with a significant deficit. 16 points right now. See if they change and up the tempo a little bit. Well, they called it a, a jump ball with Paxson able to tie it up. Here's Pippen. The Bulls have exploded here in the third. And the Lakers calling for time. The Bulls have hit their last six field goal attempts, and they lead it by 18. We'll be right back. I think the decibel level has hit new heights here this evening. <laughs> 